Hey car geeks! You all know who Dave Kindig is right? Indeed, one of the brilliant auto technician, TV personality, and entrepreneur, who is very popular for the hit reality TV series Bitchin' Rides. With his daring, distinctive designs that are captivating, thrilling, and game-changing, Dave Kindig has enchanted the automotive restoration world. What's exciting is, you can learn his skills and trade secrets at Lincoln Tech, home of the new Kindig Academy in Denver, Colorado. Bet, you've never seen a masterclass like this. In fact, Dave Kindig is the first one to come up with classes like this. So, why don't we dive in to see some of Dave Kindig's exclusive car collection? Ladies and gentlemen, let us introduce this gorgeous piece. 47 Cadillac Convertible. Damn! The color. Comment down below if you're in love with its color. Okay, this gorgeous 47 Cadillac convertible was built a couple of years ago in 2013, basically started in 2012, and completed in 2013. It is named Plum Wicked, where power meets elegance in a car known as Daisy on steroids. Plum Wicked is actually named after its purple color and crazy motor, it has a lot more power than Dave would normally put in this style of a car, but it certainly works. So, the original purpose of this car in high school was to ride around and pick up hot girls. Now, we have the Blue Suede Shoes, 59 Buick Invicta. This is a customized 1959 Buick Invicta hardtop, named Blue Suede Shoes, which is one of the biggest Kindigat design jobs to date, taking 16 to 18 months, 13,000 man-hours, and $715,000 to complete. The unique interior and all the custom touches are brilliant with coilover shocks, tubular independent front suspension, and a four-link rear suspension, and is powered by a supercharged 6.2-liter LSA V8 engine, with custom finishing to match the curvatures of the hood, and to resemble an original Buick nail head. Besides, the V8 is backed by a GM Performance for l 80 e automatic transmission. The huge rear fins are in place, and the Invicta's classic lines and rich chrome trim are accentuated with exterior modifications, including a cast-molded custom grille, tucked bumpers that pull into the body, and door handles built into the side trim. One-off EVOD wheels with wide whites built into them complete the look. Not to mention, the fully custom interior is richly appointed in blue suede and blue leather, with hand-cut lacing and tooled leather by JS Interior in Salt Lake City. However, some say, the original car looks even better. What do you think? Comment down below. Next is, this aggressive, bruiser of a charger, with specialty doors and standout style. 08 Dodge Charger. Jesus Christ. We can definitely call this ride a 100% showstopper. This car rocks an amazing wide body kit, coated in flawless black paint set on air ride suspension spinning massive 24-inch forged modular edition wheels. And yes, the suicide doors, we have to talk about this. These suicide doors are something we all have seen on various custom-built cars, but this four-door charger has them all the way around, and that definitely is something new. Not to mention the interior. It's absolutely out of this world, with numerous custom touches. It is powered by a supercharged 6.1 Hemi V8, that delivers 700 horsepower and has massive 24 by 15 tires. Indeed the most aggressive cars in Dave Kindig's garage. It was completed in 2012, and took 7 months to complete. Now we have 64 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Can you guess how long this 64 Cadillac Coupe de Ville is? Well, it's over 18 feet long. This slick caddy is an Olympic achievement, that belongs to the world-famous Olympic speed skater Apollo Ono. This full custom build is truly one of a kind, and is one of the top builds produced by Dave Kindig. It was completed in 2011, taking 12 months to complete. Iconic and classy on their own, the rails were smoothed and boxed, then treated to custom, trailing arms, and a full set of Ride Tech Air Ride components to give that slammed look while parked, and brilliant ride quality while driving. The engine was replaced with a fuel-injected Ramjet 502, which provides a simple and easy ride. Willwood six-piston 16-inch disc brakes provide the stopping power for this 18-foot caddy. Now, talking about the interior, it is fully customized with a full custom dash, with a gauge cluster to pay homage to Ono's place in Olympic history. A custom aluminum bezel was carved, chromed, and outfitted with Dakota digital gauges. 
The end result is a series of five interlocking openings. That looks like a set of Olympic rings. The rest of the interior is covered in reshaped foam and storm white leather. That has been massaged by JS Custom Interiors. And, custom door panels were made to match the seating. The airbrushing on the amplifiers in the trunk was done by the famous Steve Driscoll. We bet. This one-of-a-kind custom provides a stunning visual experience and is as smooth to drive as Apollo was on the ice. Next is the badass ride. 09 Hummer H2S Concept. This 2009 Hummer H2 is no stranger at all, as it appeared on Bitchin' Ride Season 5. When it appeared on the show, there was very little that Kindig could do to modify the automobile or so many thoughts. But the team had numerous ideas. So, first, they swapped the engine with an LSA Crate GM performance engine, with a 6L90E transmission. On the side, a Kicker L78 sound system with IQI subs was installed along with two-tone leather seats. Flush handles and one off VOD wheels complete the new look. Now we have 34 Dodge Brothers Sedan. The 1934 Dodge Brothers Sedan is one of the most intimidating cars to ever appear on Bitchin' Rides. This mold-breaking Dodge was given a new life at Kindigate Design, after it was owned for over 64 years. The modifications include a one-piece hood, modified headlights, a top with flush-mounted canvas, and custom greening taillights. The car's interior was upgraded with a custom steering wheel and glacier leather for the upholstery. Now, talking about the engine and chassis. 5.7-liter Hemi 2009 with red RAM valve covers and Mopar Performance intake manifold. 545R FE 5-speed automatic transmission. Custom-built Art Morrison frame and triangulated 4-link rear Ford 9-inch for wheels and tires. Artillery wheels custom made by Edvod 17-inch and 18-inch. This 1934 Dodge Brothers sedan sets a new standard for high-end classic hot rods. This is the perfect example of how Kindigate design focuses on enhancing the existing beauty of a car, without overwhelming it, especially on a classic like this. Not to mention, the four doors give it a level of sophistication that contrasts the hot rod out features and gives this beauty an overall killer street presence. Next is the gorgeous 39 GM Futurliner. The GM Futurliners were custom vehicles designed for General Motors by Harley Earl, with an eye toward emerging technologies. The 39-foot-long and more than 11-foot-tall GM Futurliner was initially used as a promotional caravan in GM's Parade of Progress. When the Futurliner came to Bitchin' Rides, David Kindig and his crew gave the car a complete restoration. They restored the Futurliner from 2013 to 2014, it took 22 months and over 37,000 hours to complete. Let's know the details. Body modifications and paint. Completely restored back to original including all motors that raise and lower all doors, reproduced to original specs, aluminum panels all around the perimeter, restored all lettering, wheels and tires, Coker reproduction parade of progress wide white tires, original rims and hubcaps, air over hydraulic brakes, engine and chassis, all original restored chassis and axles, number matching 1950 GMC 302CI D6 cylinder gasoline engine, hydromatic automatic transmission with splitter, Interior. Restored original gauges, JS Custom Interior upholstered back to the original material. Y and Z wiring from front to back in period correct cloth and wax tied. This bus is the cherry on the cake for a collector. Here we have the next masterpiece. 58 Lincoln Continental Maybelline. This is one of those cars that will catch your eyes, whether you like it or not, and definitely stare at it. Starting with a very distinctive body style, this 1958 Lincoln Continental convertible known as Maybelline has gone through a massive transformation, yet is exquisitely presented. It features 16-inch Woolwood brakes, as well as a six-way adjustable suspension via AccuAir. There's a Ryan Falconer-built 600 CI V12 conservatively rated at 1,000 horsepower between the front rails. The fully custom V12 engine is topped with a twin Magnuson supercharger as well as custom fabricated stainless steel headers and exhaust system, with a push-button single exhaust cutout to bypass the Borla mufflers. The body of this beauty has been modified by tucking the massive bumpers in and replacing the stock rear quarters. 
No doubt, thousands of hours were spent to perfect the body, which is coated in modern classic by Kindigteal later paint. The entire tail light panel is custom LED, as is the rear grille, made of polished stainless steel. The front grille is straight, bright, and perfect. And as with the theme of Hot Rod Lincoln, the hood has been accentuated with an acrylic bubble exposing the twin supercharged engine. Truly a masterpiece. Next is, one of the most desirable classic cars in existence. 55 Mercedes Gullwing. First, it was badly finished, made in Florida, a fiberglass Gullwing replica. Then it was handed over to Dave Kindig's design shop in Salt Lake City, Utah, to build this striking Gullwing Resto Mod. It was rebuilt from nose to tail. It features a GM LSX 454 crate motor cranking out over 640 horsepower, custom wheels with knockoff spinners, Willwood brakes, a Borlay exhaust, and a spectacular red leather interior by JS Custom Interiors. This 55 Mercedes Gullwing is classy, yet high performance. Now we have this spectacular truck. 53 Ford Pickup. This truck is the true meaning of the phrase snowball effect. The snowball effect means, it came in for a simple wiring upgrade, and left with everything making it the car you see today. It originally sat outside the main drag in Salt Lake City, in front of a car wash for 20 years, before the customer bought it, and brought it into Kindigit design. Let's know how they made this 53 Ford pickup so stunning. Body modifications and paint. Kindigit smooth door handles, custom roll pans front and rear, custom trim on running boards, the paint is Bentley Magnolia White. Interior and Gadgets. Kicker and Pioneer Sound System, it at its steering column, and Dakota Digital Gauges. Flame Red Leather and Mercedes Weave Carpet by JS Custom Interiors. Wheels and Tires. Billet Specialties Daggers 18 by 8 in the front, and 20 by 12 in the rear. Wrapped in BF GKDW 2 tires. Engine and Suspension. Chevy Performance Crate Motor ZZ383 TCI Custom IFS, with a 9-inch Ford Curry 4-link rear end. This gorgeous piece was completed in 2014, taking 12 months. Next is, the coolest. 57 Corvette Family Affair The 1957 Chevrolet Corvette Family Affair is a magnificent restomod by Kindigat Designs and Dave Kindig. Some enthusiasts see customizing a 1950s Corvette as a bold move, but Kindig pulled off a stunning build. That is sweeping through big exhibitions with great results. Okay, so this gorgeous car has a little history. Kindig's family had owned this model for years, and it had undergone a full restoration in 1982, under his father's watch. Kindig chose Corvette image for a new fiberglass body for this custom build. Tucked-in bumpers were added after a new front clip, passenger rear quarter, and lower valance were grafted on. Kindig's distinctive door handles complete the flawless, custom look of the final bodywork. Underneath the beautiful bodywork is an Art Morrison chassis that was specially designed for C1 Corvettes with modern, all-independent suspension. With Willwood brakes, Borla exhaust, and a Ron Davis radiator, the Corvette is set for some smooth cruising. This 1957 Chevrolet Corvette gets its brilliant 670 horsepower from a Lingenfelter LS7 with LS3 heads, complete with Oxblood Lingenfelter coil covers. It's paired with a Bowler 4L80E automatic transmission, and completed with a Billet Specialty Serpentine Drive, American Power Electric brakes, and tons of great hardware. As for the interior, it gets a marriage of modern style and old school from Kindig's collaboration with Justin Stevens at JS Custom Interiors, who helped bring the Oxblood leather cockpit together. Now we have the cutest. 65 Volkswagen Beetle. The 65 Volkswagen Beetle was completed in 2012, taking 12 months to complete. Let's get into the details. Engine and chassis. Engine, 2,110 cubic centimeters dual 44 millimeters Weber carved, built by Blackline Racing in Salt Lake City. Transmission, Super Street Transaxle. Suspension, stock lowered rear, front arc weld narrowed drop front beam. A one stainless sidewinder exhaust. Willwood disc brakes, front and rear. Interior. Interior by So Fine in Colorado, vintage red whisper leather, Mercedes velour carpet. Seats are refinished and restored originals. Stock style steering wheel, 15 inch by Cokes. Dakota Digital HDX 59 Impala gauges. 
Kicker IQ's sound system. Paint and body modifications. Sickens Mercedes Black and Bentley Magnolia White, custom matched matte vintage red, to match the interior. Installed an original 62 sunroof roof section, grafted in. Shaved fender marker lights. Hand-built trim, triple-plated chrome by Ogden Chrome. Custom-built hood trim with integrated hood handles. Wheels and tires. Arcweld 17-inch smoothies, Yokohama 17-inch all-around. Next is 52 Pontiac Mischief. The very first thing you should know is, to keep it authentic, hundreds of hours were spent perfecting the restored trim. This 1952 Pontiac Chieftain has the emblem and logo throughout to give it a ton of presence. Featuring Kindig's signature built-in white walls, and a custom-built matte hotch gas cap with the classic Pontiac Chieftain coin, it's no surprise that, it took home overall best custom at the Grand National Roadster Show. Getting into details, Interior was done by JS Custom Interiors, using leather Mercedes Berry. Custom Dakota digital gauges, kicker audio, and edited it for the steering column. Paint and body mods. The paint is a 2014 Porsche Panamera Platinum. Body mods include Kindigate smooth door handles, a custom gas cap with the emblem, and the skirts were removed. Engine and transmission. GM Performance LS3 with a Magnuson supercharger backed by a 4L85E transmission. Wheels and tires. Wheels are custom one-off wide white built into the wheel. The tires are Michelin Pilot Super Sports. This stunning 52 Pontiac Mischief took 18 months of total time to be completed, it was finally finished in 2016. Now we have 64 Chevy Mali Boost. While its classic good looks and iconic status make it a likely candidate for the car show circuit, this classic muscle machine has a whole lot more to offer than what's immediately apparent. The Malibu dubbed Molly Boost is equipped with some of the best performance components the auto industry has to offer. This iconic 64 Chevy Molly Boost features 1140 horsepower. It was completed in 2015, taking eight months to complete. Next is the Corvette CF1. This stunning Corvette CF1 is an entire carbon fiber body, unlike a traditional Corvette, which has a fiberglass body, riding on top of some sort of metal chassis. With the overall theme being polished minimalism, the bumpers are tucked in neatly, and the rocket ship-like winglets are toned down significantly. The windscreen is similar to the original, but much lower. The interior is most faithful to the original, however, the key difference is the available legroom and room between the driver and passenger. The design is straight from the 1950s, but hidden beneath the old-school homage to the Corvette. It features air conditioning, and the kicker infotainment system is hidden, so it doesn't spoil the old-school design. Lingenfelter's contribution is found under the hood. It's the LS7 V8 with Borla 8-stack injection, and it produces 673 horsepower. It's made it to a 4-speed automatic transmission from GM's performance department. To ensure the entire state can hear you coming, it has a custom stainless steel Borla exhaust. With these things, it's quite hard to put a price on it, but it is known that a CF1 goes for around $375,000. Last but not least, we have 60 Caddy. There is nothing more badass than a car riddled with copper bullets. The 1960 Cadillac Coupe de Ville is featured on Bitchin' Rides, Season 2. This caddy features accents of copper throughout the build and an on-air ride, to be able to give it that low and sleek look for the car shows. It has one king of custom in both the Sacramento Autorama and Portland Roadster. Let's take a glimpse at the details. Paint and Body Mods The paint is a custom-mixed candy brandy wine base coat. Body mods include 4-inch chop by Gene Winfield. Most of the bright work was done in copper, including the wheel wells. Interior was done by JS Custom Interiors, with harvest leather and custom seats by Corbeau. A custom center console was built to run through the entire inside with the same bullets as the grille. Custom Dakota digital gauges and kicker audio for the tunes. Wheels and tires. Wheels are custom one-off wide whites built in. The tires are Michelin Pilot Super Sports. The front wheels are 20 by 8, and the rear wheels are 20 by 12. Engine and transmission. 
ZL1 All Aluminum 454GM Performance Ramjet Engine, backed by a 4L80E transmission. This stunning masterpiece was completed in 2015, taking 24 months to complete. You might wonder, what was the cost of build, and how many man hours did it take to build this copper Katy? Here's the answer from Dave Kindig himself. It was over 7,500 man hours, and we never tell how much a build costs, we keep it confidential for our customers. With this, we've come to the end of the video. Which is your favorite car from the above? If you guys want to know more about other cars of Kindig, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and press the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for tuning in.